The other drama that we're following right now, Casey, and I know you're watching so very closely, is Capitol Hill. We saw some pretty dramatic stuff on the floor yesterday. Can you walk us through the machinations and the plotting, perhaps, that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has been doing? As dramatic as the, the Senate floor can ever be. I mean, John, you know, we, we've been talking about this all week and uh, the way that President Trump has suddenly decided that he's going to push these $2,000 checks. And we should remind everyone, if this is what the president wanted, he could have had it. He just would have needed to say so during any of the months that these negotiations uh, were going on. But now he's insisting, OK, I want to vote on this. And it's left Mitch McConnell in a position of trying to defend the two senators that are running for re-election in Georgia. They both have said they want $2,000 checks, uh, but it's pretty clear so many other Republicans are opposed to it. And so he's come up with this strategy, and, and he's basically laying it back at the feet of the president, right? He's saying, well, President Trump tied these three issues together when he actually gave in, signed that COVID relief bill. And those issues uh, are related to tech liability uh, or liability for tech companies, I should say, uh, as well as an election fraud commission. And the, basically what happens, you package all those things together and then you cannot get the support uh, for the $2,000 checks, even though there is incredibly broad uh, support for it in Congress. The House passed it by a two-thirds vote. And that, of course, I think really underscores, um, as we head into the new year, uh, how difficult it is. Uh, and and I, I, I keep thinking about the people who just are watching what is happening and they're saying, my life is so hard because of this pandemic and you, Congress, uh, can't get it together. But uh, this is often how they deal with things like this. And, and this is how uh, McConnell uh, has been doing it, John. It's sort of regular business, and I'm sure we know the partnership between Mitch McConnell and President Trump has remade in many ways the federal judiciary, and there's a lot of conservative goals that accomplished. But one has to wonder if in private moments the Senate Majority Leader also counting down the days to January 20th. At least his job will have more clarity. We're going to revisit that shortly. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.